seen Total Recall, right? Okay, so you know Quato? Pat is Quato. <laughs> Except his Quato is not, like, his Quato wears, like, a little, like, visor and has, like, a pencil and is, like, He's yeah. a bookie. Yeah, he's yeah. a bookie, and he's like, he's like super organized. Oh no, that you go in this file cabinet. You go in this file cabinet. Yeah, I am an organizational fetishist. Yeah, yeah. So that, that, he died. He's he's just gone. Ugh. You know, he has a big death scene, and and now we can get on with putting things in where where they are, and that may mean a little bit of repetition, but also the other thing I think we're we're talking about very seriously with Spycraft Third is, is more of an introduction to people to the game. So because uh, I think the number one thread, uh, type of thread we have in the fantasy craft list in the last six months has been. So I've got this game. It's uh, yeah. Tell me what, how is it different, or sell me on, which is always the same questions. Tell me how it's different. Are there attacks of opportunity? Are there this? Are there that? Are there this? Yeah. Are there that? <laughs> right. Exactly. Well, a lot of people are coming from that well, background. It makes sense. Right. All right. We well, we've always been rather gentlemanly about it, and we don't want to say like. Because their game sucks and our game's awesome, <laughs> which which we don't which we don't believe, by the way. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, that's that's not what we're saying. But I, I think the thing is that it, there, you could have a litany because we've made so many small changes, and so I think the idea is to explain. Don't start with what you think the game might be. We will explain to you what the game is, mm -hmm. and then you can go from there. Yeah. Well, uh, the a uh, a lot of the text sort of. You ever uh, walk into a movie? And like Memento, for example, you walk into Memento and it's a fantastic movie, right? But after seeing one, you're sort of like, and, and it, you just sort of have to catch up. That's the way that all of our books have been written, right? <laughs> there, is, there is no uh, explanation. We sort of just dive into the deep end, right? We're very good at that. I, and and, we we uh, tried to include a page that said tattoo your index references on your arms. So you yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, play your campaign in reverse, yeah. <laughs> Um, but uh, um, it, at the end of the day, people want more cross-referencing. They, they, they don't want to have to flip pages. They want to just have the material immediately in front of them. So um, every effort is being made to change that with future books. So, Right. Um, yeah. No? Okay. I actually like that style. I think I'm a rarity. I don't think most people think that you and me, simpatico, right? Uh, I, 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 the, the people with the torches are right behind me, and I can see the silhouettes of the pitchforks. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. What? Right. Right. Okay. My personally, uh -huh. just because, I, but of course I started with D and D, so. Huh. You know, Interesting. Like, it, really so we have to be recruiting from inside their ranks. That's what she's saying. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, what else did, were we talking about that we want to get some feedback on? Mm. That was a tangent, and so I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> What does somebody want to, what is, uh, uh, throw out some things you want to see oh, changed. Oh, yeah. How do you what? feel about the number of dice rolls in your games? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, too much. Yep, too much. Too many. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> these they, these they, are guys I thought would be defending yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, yeah. I'm thinking, for a lot of, this wasn't on the forums, so you might have seen this. For a lot of the rules, like the rules, I, instead of rolling a second dice, I just assume that the enemy is taking care. Interesting. Kind of so you're kind of using so like, the, you're yeah, using like the a, defense like a, thing, like a, yeah. sort of. Yeah. If you have like a threaten, I'll just do ten plus his resolve. That's so yeah, that's the that's the status is, save. Is there anyone here who feel? Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna weigh in on the opposite side. Uh huh. I've been trying to get this one into gaming for fifteen years now, <laughs> and uh, her her few ventures into it, she really appreciated the the tangible effect. As opposed to the story aspect of it. Right. Okay. The story aspect and, and more, I don't want to say free flow, but more, you roll this, that happens, uh, cause and event chain type things. Mm -hmm. It is good for more experienced players to, to get more into the ROLE plane of it. 
Well, let me ask you a question, to, uh, and I'll, I'll direct this one to, to her since she, she's the one who likes the dice roll. Uh, uh, how do you feel about reactive roles? Not roles where you're attacking, but roles that you're being forced to make by, uh, uh, are you her GM? Yeah, so that he's forcing you to make. I don't like it. Okay, all right. feels like I'm picking on her. Okay, all right. You don't like it because he's doing it, not necessarily because you don't like the role. Right. Does, does the role feel like it's onerous? Like it's just an extra step? Okay. So you like to have I think the role. everybody. Okay. I think everybody likes using the role against someone else. Yeah. Because you, yo, this is awesome. I'm attacking you as She's opposed to. She's blushing now. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about like static stage? Um. Uh -huh. You hate static saves. Okay. I am not attaching. I am not attaching a name to anything because. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we just went over that. It never goes well. Right. Yes. No. No. The, the the important thing is not to not to talk that because people have baggage, right? Yeah. They're like, well, may, you may have not liked Star Wars Saga Edition or Fourth Edition or something like that, or you may be like, they're going the wrong way. Oh my God! Now we're gonna have colors and dragon face dudes. And, no, it's it. Armored Beholders. Yes, yeah, Armored Beholders. <laughs> Sorry, that does suck. Once. Yeah, Armored <laughs> Beholders do suck, yes. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, took my childhood and just broke it over the knee yeah. and then put armor plates on it. <laughs> um, the, uh, but, I mean, it, it, the question is, like, especially from the GM, I think, how many of you who really dislike, think there's too many roles in the game are GMs? All right, so that's, like, all, GM. all the GMs. So all, the players don't, don't mind. Mm -hmm, keeping it's track of them. everybody... You know, at the table, you have to interact with to, to get that task done. Do, you, the GM, are doing every one of those. So. Okay, so how many people in the room are GMs? All right, of okay. you, how many people feel there are too many roles in, on your side of the table? Roles. 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 Kind of? R O L L S, okay. right? How, how many of you think are there just the right amount of roles? I'll tell you, at times, it's really <laughs> weird, but it depends on the story versus. All right, as GMs, what, what are your least favorite roles in the game? Roles, R-O-L-L-S. If it's, if it's type of role, a thing you have to roll for that you yeah. don't want to have to roll for. That, that one kills me because as a story driven stuff that I love to do, mm -hmm. I want them to interact and really try to do the convince. I don't want it to rely on the die roll all the time. Mm -hmm. Give me the story you're throwing at that person and try to convince them to help you or try to convince them to let you into the place. Not the, I want to go up to them and try to persuade them to do it. Okay, roll d20. Well, no, you know, that's all well, with that, that I found the action dice. GM yeah. action dice. You tell a good story. Oh, they're getting convincing story. Bam, here's your action dice. You can use that one later or whatever. Have you found a system that does that the, the way you like? LARPing? <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, no dice rolls involved. It's a... okay. No, I mean, not, I don't think any game that I can think of does that. Okay. 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 So. It's, it's, it's part of the nature of the RPG. Predicates, though, that you have players that are capable of that. Right. right. Experienced right. players, people who are real shy about getting into characters. Right. They don't do that so well. Right, absolutely. That's what, yeah, that, that's what the rules, the rules are there for, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's where I'm at in relating to the point that he was making that that's a good thing to award action dice for because not everybody is going to be able to be as personally suave as James Bond. Right. right. But it, it does add to the fun of the table, so I'm more important. Right, right. So right. let's talk about action dice real quick. How many times do your players run out of action dice halfway into the game? How, how often? Would you say most of the time? I say a lot of the time. Or do they hoard? Or do they hoard? Hoard, so orders. Oh, I don't know. This is like four or something. We're all waiting. Okay. 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 Okay, so I'm hearing I'm hearing hoarding because they don't know what's coming and they're waiting for the inevitable. So do your players usually end with most of their action dice still sitting by their character sheets? Yes. Or is, do you, it, is it the eleventh hour rush? Yeah. Do you have Do you have the the, the five minutes of midnight? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the action dice that they 
I started the night with, but I've got all the character sheets in the circular filing bin. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't all dead. They didn't know to use them. Wow. Okay. <laughs> RGM. I like your style. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. So you're, and yeah, and that's, and we're talking about the flow of action dice, and that action dice economy is very important, and especially. If the game forgets to do it, yeah, well, right. then that's a problem. Yeah. What would help you, what would help you to remind you about action I dice? I get so into trying to take the steps I need to make the game go, that I'm like, yeah, that was funny. Oh, uh, so, uh, oh yes. I, I, it's like I'm too focused on the <laughs> screen. Right, because they're too, they become too precious. Okay. We're not going to get anymore. So would you say that something like action die inflation might be a good idea? Or no, like I'm talking like actual economy, like your action die, your one action die is now worth two action dice. You know what I mean? No, no, what I mean is that as action dice, more action dice on the table, coming, going, being spent. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. players call out other players when they do something amazing, right? Mm -hmm. You know, they actually use an action point. Good. You know, yeah. Okay. I always yeah. report to a thing. It's a fake point. It's a fake point economy going back and forth and tells all that stuff. Right, right. How, how many people uh, feel that they're mis... Uh, how many people uh, forget action dice? Okay. I, I do. Uh, I, I forget yeah, them. Yeah. 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 Um, I forget. I have a stack like. Yeah, yeah. I, I forget all action dice yeah. all the time. Um, they, so you guys forget them, right? Do, do, why do you think you do? Do you feel that it's just that there's too much going on? There's a lot going on. Yeah. Okay. Which all right. Which good to cover everything, but bad because it's covering everything. Right. I, uh, 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 Right. <laughs> Thank you, Deadlands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a game we like. Yeah. With with another game system that's out of business, with Evan and Three. Right. One of the things I really love about the, what they did with them is the complications yeah. for the hero points. Because for every time that that person gets involved in a complication, bam, they, they get an action die. Yeah. And, and that's. You know, they also Robert, have yeah. one. I'm like, that, you know, yeah. with your system where you start off with a bunch of hand at level, uh -huh. but with this one, it's, you know, you get to throw story stuff at them left and right, and they're generating that hero point pool right at the table. And it's mm -hmm. fast. Okay. And it's, it, I like it's that the triggers. A lot yeah. of that. Okay. Okay. Well, see, the one, one disadvantage of that, is I think that some people get, or some systems, some people get fixated on that one key to give you the action dice, so I think it's, you it should be open to different options to give out action dice. You don't think both can be true? Sure, I think some. I think a lot of systems tend to go one way or the other. Okay. I uh, one last question about action dice. Um, I have another one. Go how ahead. many of you really like action dice? Oh, really like them? Okay, good. Uh, how many of you would be offended if we included a chapter on action dice in the next Spycraft product? No. 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 Okay, <laughs> done. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah. Right, and I think that's the yeah. thing. The, is the, the, the current plan is for there to be a chapter that describes an action die engine, and it would actually work a lot like what you're talking about, where there would there would be prompts, Absolutely. specific prompts and we for pull action them, dice. And we pull it, yeah, we pull it together also and tell you, in one place, here's how action dice work in this system. I've so got one that may become a complicated conversation. Go ahead. Okay, well, core abilities and, and all those other things. You know, uh, I'm trying to think of something where they kick off. I'm trying to think of other systems that are like buried in the GM's chapter. You know, like bringing all that stuff together. So you look oh, at action dice as a like, as a thing because they're really big, but they're diffuse. Yeah, the all system. the different rules, like Nature's Fury. Uh, yeah, if, should Nature's Fury wind up in the in the game, and it, it may not, uh, or it may not in the form that it is in right now. But if it did, it would wind up in that chapter um, because it, it's action die driven. So, how many people use scenes? Oh, yeah. How many people break up their adventures action. according to scenes? Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. All right. How do you guys? How do you guys break scenes? How do you determine what the end of a scene is? Like, what? What? How do you usually end a scene? Well, actually, I have a better question. How many people script scenes ahead of time? 
you know where the scenes will break before yeah. you sit down to play. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. I mean, I All right. Much know the event that gonna say, you know, this is what <laughs> okay. How many people would prefer our games be um, more contiguous? Fr yeah, free flowing, essentially. They still have scenes, but they would be de uh, determined on the fly. Like uh, you, you say, right now we're going to move to another scene because you guys have clearly ended this one, as opposed to you scripting it ahead of time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And you, and you show up four hours later covered in chicken grease. Yeah. yeah. How many people actually script full on adventures? Like they break them down according to scenes like movies. Jerry, you had a big shake your head. You yeah. do you never script anything? I never script my stuff. I always have a beginning and an end and I let the players fill in. Okay. Because the players will always come up with something that goes outside of scenes. But you st do you still use scenes? I still you I still break up scenes, so if they Okay, kind of but you just do it on the fly. But I do yeah. it on the fly. Okay. okay. Yeah, just because you script it doesn't necessarily mean that's the way it's gonna go. Right. That's a bit how many people script scenes but they never run that way? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's the exact reason why okay. it's like running a module, but looser you can't expect them to stay on the rails. Okay. But, but, but I, I will the way I did my stuff is I always have a season. So I actually have episodes. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Not as big a conversation as I expected. Yeah. Scripting out the outline of the adventure pretty thoroughly. When my players go off and let the hands, that that makes my creative juices flow. Right. But at that point, you're their situation, but with the events that I want to have. Okay. So at that point, you're basically adjusting scenes, but you have like a basic idea, a blueprint. Okay. So you build for scenes, but you actually run. Differently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Run amok. Here's where I want you to go eventually. How do you get there? I don't know. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm sorry? Yeah. Plot, plot points. points. Overall plot points for the character. For the high points in the system. Help them get to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. However they want to do it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So, you, do you guys find that when, when things go up, I, won't even, I don't want to call it on the rails because I don't think all of us are trying to railroad people through adventures, but, but when they go outside the bounds, let's say they're coloring outside the lines, um, do you find you yourself scrambling to figure out what to do? Or do you just like, feed them the crayon? I mean, are you, able, are, you, are you amped up and become more creative and just like start winging it yourself? Or do you go, oh God, I, I need a rule for this? Am I the only person that does that where I'm like, I will say, I will say, I edited uh, the 10,000 Bullets adventure, and there is a subsection called If the Players Insist on Being Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> because I, 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 I realized I was writing it, and I was like, I, I couldn't conceive of them wanting to do this. They're well, going I, to do it because I just thought that. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> this is what happens. You know. I. Mean, so you know. <laughs> This if is actually in a specific adventure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I could work that in as a header in a lot of places. Yeah, you could. You know? I have players who are just punks. Like they're old. They're old punks. They're, they're kids from the bad side of town. As soon as they know that there's a story, they're like, "Oh yeah," you know, <laughs> off the cliff. Like, why do you do that? <laughs> 